Hey everyone, so I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Black Bolt from the Thanos Imperative box set from the 2014 San Diego Comic Con. Let's go and look at the front of the figure. Go ahead and turn around. Overall, I think he's a great figure, um, compar especially compared to the one that we had in the Nemesis wave. And I actually do not have that one to do comparison. But um, but this figure also does have its flaws, and it, it is kind of plain. But um, overall, I think it's a great um, redo of the figure that Hasbro has done here. So we're gonna look at the paint. We'll go ahead and look at the details now. So looking at the face, I think it's a great uh, head sculpt. Um, nice uh, flesh tone. Um, the fork is a little bent. Um, he came that way when he was in the box. Um, I'm sure you guys that have to have them. Um, I've seen some that are really bent, but. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. You can still at least kind of bend it back the way you need. And if whatnot, you can always warm it up in hot water and get it the way you want. But, uh, you know, no cross-eyed or anything like that. It's got nice uh, pupils dead on. The blue eyes. Um, the fork looks great. Nice silver paint. Um, just a little bit, not much, bled over, but not like a ton or anything. See the sculpt of the ear over the mask? I think it's uh, really well done. Also, the um, silver on this chest along here is all nice and cleanly done. It's nice straight lines. It's not uh, smudged or bleeding over or missing any of the gaps. Just down here on his belt, you can see it definitely bled over a little bit. Um, not too bad, but just that there, it got a little messy. But over here, it looks nice and clean, especially like in the crotch area. Um, it's all done nice. The rest of the figure is just mainly just black plastic. Um, again, on his gloves, on the tips, he got a little floppy there. Not too bad. But overall, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a little more. But, I mean, it, it, anyone can be, you know, you can really be really nitpicking and find things, but it's not terrible. Um, but you do expect kind of the best when you start buying uh, exclusives. You hope for, you know, it'd be a clean figure that you can't really go through a huge boxes of them and pick out the best ones yourself like you can at retail. Um, on these little wings on the back here is where it gets kind of splotchy. So you hear a lot of black plastic showing through um, there along the corners here. Um, these are just, um, they're not really pliable. They're not fabric like the other ones um, from the Nemesis wave. So it can be kind of, you know, hokey, but it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, I actually kind of like it like this better um, just because it's, I've seen a lot where the strings are kind of coming off and it's kind of unraveling, but now he's not hindered at all. It's not attached to his hip or anything to hinder him from moving up higher. But it does look kind of funny when you have him out like that, but yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> you have everything. <laughs> but yeah, again, like I was saying, it's, it does get kind of messy over here on this one. And you can see it up in here too. Back of the glove, nice, nicely done. On this side, again, see it's just kind of splotchy. You can see it coming through on these ends. But it's interesting on this side it looks decent. Not too much. Just but you know, so yeah. <laughs> but on the back, uh one thing that's nice is like this is all nicely clean. I guess what I look for is the front mostly. I mean it is a bummer that this part's kinda not the best, but at least it's not all over the chest area. I'm just kinda rambling. But um yeah again on the back, nicely cleanly done. Uh it's not bleeding over you see, there's some little splotchiness, but it's not terrible. A little bit right there. Um, again, you can see it kind of going over near his butt. More lines, nicely cleanly done. The rest is just black. So why not? Let's go over the articulation of this guy. So it's the Bucky Cat mold, so everyone kind of knows the articulation. Um, so he goes left and right. Up really well. Down really well. So it's a great body mold. Uh, ball joints in the shoulder, so it goes... Uh, you know, forward and out, uh, bicep swivel, and this doesn't hinder anything, spin them all the way around. Double jointed elbows, but the glove does get in the way, and I don't want to press it too hard over and over, because it will, I'm sure after a while, it will um, chip the paint. Uh, wrist moves side to side, and up and down. Um, same thing, same thing, but one thing that's kind of nice is they gave him uh, two fists. There's no, you know, gun hole scene, no gun hole holding hand, which is nice. A nice ab crunch, forward, crunches back. Uh, waist swivel, can kick out that much. Kick to the side, he's got an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, uh, boot cut, uh, ankles move down and up. 
And he's got the nice uh, ankle rocker. And then he's also got pickles at the bottom of the feet. So we'll go ahead and do a, a measurement here. All right, sweet pose, huh? I know, all right? That's awesome pose right there. Oh, another guy just fell down. But yeah, great pose. <laughs> so he stands roughly almost at six and a half inches. But I'll just show a little comparison with the Hydra soldiers since they share bodies. You can see how their bodies are exactly the same, just the heads are different. But yeah, so I, I think it's, you know, it, I know this is probably the, from what I've seen what other people say, this is probably their least favorite out of the box set. But I'm telling you guys, it's it's not a bad figure at all. Um, it just has, you know, these funky pieces, yeah, and sometimes you can get some horrible paint jobs. But overall, it's it's kind of cool to have him to start, an, you know, the, a newer updated version of him um, to start your Inhuman, especially since Medusa came in the box set, which I'm going to be doing a review on her next. Um, so it's kind of nice to see them starting that team out. Hopefully we get more of these guys. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment, hit the like button. Um, definitely check out my other videos when you can. Um, and have a great night, guys. All right, thanks for watching.